This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. All right, this program, oh, this program allows you to upload a photo and then add encouraging captions to it. Woo! There are two variables already created that store the photo caption and encouragement added by the user. There are, oh yeah, here's the caption. Here's the encouragement, I guess. Oh, they're empty. Run the program to see how it works. You'll notice that not all the buttons work yet. Okay. All right, so it's running. Oh, look. All right, let's see. Um, add encouragement. Mm, nope. Uh, oh, hello, world. Oh, that did something. I heard a little sound. What about... <gasps> oh, I can add a photo. Hello, cow. Yes, I do just have to have a cow. Yes. Oh, that didn't look like it worked either. <gasps> no, it did. <gasps> we got a cow! Yes! Oh, okay. Okay, but we got a cow out of this. All right, let's see what we need here. Uh, do this. Add code to update the values stored in the variable encouragement with what the user wrote. Okay, let's start there. So notice this variable here, encouragement, is empty, which is sad. We don't want it to empty. So let's see what we have here. To do, add code to update the variable to the value stored to the val to update the value stored in the variable to the encouragement the user wrote. All right, so how could we go about doing that? We'll notice that this right here is on the event that the add button is clicked. Now I can assume, but I'm gonna hit reset. Look, if I check the ID, if I hover over this phone, right, the ID is add button. So what this code tells me on line 12 is on the event that the thing with the add button ID, this thing is clicked. So when I click that, it must execute, it must run the code in this green mouth, yellow mouth type block thing. Everything inside of here must be ran when I click the add button because on the event that the add button, this thing is clicked, I'm gonna run this. What's gonna function? What's gonna be within the function that occurs? We get to write. So now we need to assign a variable a value. Right now it's equal to nothing. Now we already declared it, right? We have created this variable up here at the top of the code. We know because we said var, that creates it. We don't need to recreate it. That will cause an error. It's gonna say, what do you mean you're recreating the encouragement variable? However, what we wanna do is assign it. So we're gonna say, okay, we already know you exist encouragement variable, but we wanna give you a new value. Now, what value would that be, you might wonder? Well, I know that when I click this, right, when I click on this button is when it will update. So hopefully I wouldn't click add encouragement till I've typed something here. Let's poke around some. So if we wanna add a value to this, I don't know, maybe we could look at what the ID is and we can even dip into design mode. Let me click on this. Input, encouragement input. So this item has an ID as well. So if we wanted to grab the text of something, what do you think we could do? What code? Boop. I can just tell the computer, hey, when I click on the, when on the event that the add button is clicked, the encouragement variable should be equal to whatever the text is in encouragement input. So, hey, when they click on that button, get the text here and encouragement's gonna be equal to that. Cool. Okay, two, use string concatenation. That's a fancy way of saying smashing words, letters together in code. String concatenation to add the string stored in the encouragement variable, which is whatever we would have written here, to the string stored in the caption. Okay, remember to include slash in so that the encouragement shows on a new line. All right, so we want to store the encouragement storing using string concatenation add the string stored in encouragement to the string in caption so to the string that we already have in caption so once again caption has been declared up here so i'm going to use var because i don't need to re-declare it i don't know why that extra white space is there caption is here okay so i don't want to re-declare it now you can add strings together so i'm headed over to math and a string is a fancy name for a word or a sentence, anything with quotes around it. And now since I can add these together, I want to add what? Uh, encouragement and the caption. But that's not all. 
they also want a new line character. So that's a three edition problem, if you will. And what's going to go in this? Well, that's kind of a What's going to go in this is whatever's in the encouragement variable. That much I know. Encouragement. I don't like, I'm going to go into text mode, guys, because I really don't like, we don't need these. They will not cause an error, but we just don't need parentheses. Okay, so whatever's in the encouragement variable, cool. Also, whatever is in the caption variable. And it's kind of weird to say this because you're like, Mr. Kaiser, it says it's equal to caption. That's true, it is. However, how the computer reads this, well, let me get to that. Let's also do the new line character. And that just makes sure that a new line is printed after all of this. It's computer, well, it's Unicode for a new line. The computer reads this as a single character. That means bump down a line. All right, let's go back to blocks. What does the computer see here? It sees, okay, when it gets to this line, well, we click the button, encouragement, we grab the text from here, smack, encouragement has whatever text we wrote. Caption, the computer sees, has a new value. Okay, the computer says, what's the value? Oh, caption is now going to be equal to whatever caption used to be equal to, plus whatever we grabbed from encouragement, plus a new line character. So bump down a line after writing this. And then finally, we got to print it. Well, there's no print, but by now, hopefully, we know that we can set the text on the screen. Get rid of this extra guy. And then what are we going to set? I would assume the caption output. Here, caption output looks good to me and then what text well we don't need this and it sometimes fights me on deleting these quotes so I sometimes go to the back here and delete them both at the same time we need this right so we're gonna set the caption output to whatever stored within here let's give this a shot okay I'm still gonna do the photo yes I'm gonna do the cow again because that was awesome <gasps> Yes, I'm impressed again. <laughs> Hi, cow. Boom. Add encouragement. Watch it run. Bam. So now the caption has this line. But what if I want to add something else? Yo, comma, moo. I did a mooing face when I did that, guys. Yeah. So what's going on here real quick, guys? All right. Let's see. So we have this caption variable and encouragement. What encouragement does is it is going to take the input. So each time they click the button, encouragement is equal to whatever was entered here. Caption, however, is getting updated all the time. It's not getting overwritten, right? So whatever caption used to be equal to, here it's equal to hi cow, yo, and moo, and now it's equal to hi cow, yo, moo, and world, right? But when I hit this, encouragement is only equal to world when we get to line 15. But once we get to 18, caption is equal to all the old stuff plus world. Encouragement gets blanked out each time. Caption stays because we're not, we're adding it to the old value it was equal to. Pretty cool. And it works. And there's a cow. Onward.